Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 14th, Wednesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. Responsorial Psalm Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree, planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just. But the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Luke The Lord said, Woe to you Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb. But you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done, without overlooking the others. Woe to you Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you scholars of the law! You impose on people burdens hard to carry but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. Reflection You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. The Gospel today talks about paying tithes but ignoring God. The rich give a lot to the church, in exchange for the blessing that the priest will give them. They think that the huge amount will erase what is lacking in their relationship with God. But no amount of money can plug the hole that is in your soul. No amount of money can pay for what you have done, against God, against humanity and against your family. Stop ignoring God, and start making amends for the things that you have done in your lifetime. That's the end of my reflection. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. 
Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.